Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Kristen Aguirre joins us live from Quincy this morning. She's continuing on with Wedding Week today. Kristen, what are you up to this morning? Well, wedding season is in full swing, and what are you getting the happy couple? This morning, we're going to give you some tips on how you can give a unique gift to the bride and groom. You're watching KHQA This Morning. Wednesday this morning, following up with her wedding week, she's got a ton of stuff going mm -hmm. on this week, all kinds of uh, things for the bride, the groom, the party. Today, it's the perfect gift. Yes, yeah. That's right. Now, picking the perfect gift can be kind of a daunting task. Should you go with classic things like cash, or should you give them the classic things like wine glasses? But you're here to help us, Joy, to tell That's us right. what we can give to the bride and groom. Well, first you want to do a little bit of homework. How well do you know the couple? You know, is it a family member? Is it someone that's an acquaintance of someone that you know? And so do a little bit of homework. And you may even want to sneak a peek at their registry if they're registered at, at a department store. So then you kind of know the color trends that they're working for. But when you want to give a gift, you want to think, you always want them to think about you when they look at that gift or when they use those towels or whatever it is. Maybe they look at that picture frame or they drink that bottle of wine that you've purchased for them. So always, always make it a unique gift. I always have that, you know, um, kind of, like I said, that daunting in my head thinking, should I give them the cash? Is, is that going to um, be the best thing? Is it going to pay for my plate? But like you said, you want them to remember You want them things. to remember things. And when you do, I mean, they always say cash is king. But, you know, when you give cash, sometimes it just gets used for other things. So, you know, it's not like they're going to have that gift that they're, every time they get the, those special, you know, wine glasses out or they get that, you know, they turn that lamp on or look at that clock to see what time it is. They're not going to think, oh, yeah, that's what she gave me. You know, that's what that couple gave me. So it just makes a nice memory for them. Now, if you're not a crafty person or you don't even know where to start where we're talking about, don't worry, because this morning we are going to show you what you need to do to make your gift really special for the bride and groom on their big day. <laughs> There's still some wedding gifts I have that I know who yeah. gave them to Well, us. in the cash, I was just talking to you mm -hmm. during uh, Kristen's live shot. I have a bed set thanks to Thanks that. to the cash that you got. Yeah. was able to buy something you wanted. The actual furniture, not just like the comforter, but the furniture. So I think about that every day. What I get you? <laughs> She's going to have all the details for wedding week coming up. She's a domestic, um, et cetera, in Quincy this morning. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Well, d don't they say when you have rain on your wedding dates, good luck? Some people say that? I so, think that's what they say. So it might be a good day to have a wedding. You have a lot of luck in your wedding. Uh, before we get started on what to pick out for some gifts, I ask you a Facebook question. Now, what is your most memorable gift that you got at your wedding? Oh, wow. That was probably over 30 years ago. I would guess it would be a cookbook from my grandmother. One of oh. those that you that you get from the church when you buy with all the different people that belong to the church that put their recipes in it so and, I, and it sets in my kitchen in a basket so, so you still have it I don't use it I look at it but <laughs> I'm not a big cook but <laughs> it's a thought that counts yes. that you still have yes. it and you can remember yes. that, pres uh, that and story. she personalized it so you know you always want to think about that too if you're given something like that personalize it you know it's got her autograph me inside of it so and that's what nice. we're all about making this memories. morning yes yeah. making memories and personalizing things so what's the first thing people need to do when they do want to personalize a gift uh, you want to do your homework of course Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you get that spelling right if you're going to do, you know, something like that. And then, um, you know, just find out what the couple likes. So, you know, maybe a color in their home or a style that they like in their home. Uh, and that's going to be, again, where you're going to do your homework at to make sure. Now, what we have here is um, a little bit of statement color. So maybe you're not for sure what that person has in their home as far as their colors or the trends right now, but you see a lot of this aqua tealy blue. So the clock is a perfect piece. The towels are a great complement. Even if they don't have that, it's a great statement piece. Mm -hmm. So you can always work around that as far as a statement piece. Lanterns, florals, any of those types of things, just make a little more of a personal personal statement too. And fragrance. Fragrance is very personal. Mm -hmm. So uh, and it just depends on how well you know the couple. So we're going to go ahead and uh, continue to show you all morning some really fun pro uh, products that you can go ahead and put together in a nice little basket and then we're going to go ahead and show you how to make the basket and I'm going to challenge Joy to who can make the basket faster. <laughs> Get your bets on me guys because I, I'm I, I think I could do it. Well, <laughs> there's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kristen's I'll put my money on it but yeah, we'll She's we'll always see. morning continuing wedding week. Yeah what is your most memorable gift you've given for bride and groom? Money. 
Well, were you going to ask me what's the most uh, memorable gift I got for my wedding? Because I'm not married, Brooke. Okay? I'm not married. Thank you for rubbing <laughs> it in. I'm not married. Great. Um, I actually, the most memorable <laughs> gift I'm going to give is the one I'm going to make today. So That's we're right. going to show you how you can go ahead and attack, uh, attack the project and making a personalized gift for the wedding groom. So we're going to be shopping for my girlfriend, Tracy and Brett. Their wedding's coming up in August. I want to give them a really fun gift. So we're in the wine department because girl loves a glass of wine. Okay. So how do All I right. attack this? Well, you can always bring a special bottle of wine in here because, you know, if you've been with them, you've been entertained with them, you've gone different places with them so you know what kind of wine they like. So bring that bottle of wine in here and then we can put a basket together. They're fun people. They like to entertain them, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. So another great gift is a lantern. So we can pick out some great functional items mm -hmm. and then we can put it all together and make it look really pretty in a first impression when they walk in and see that gift on the gift table that is um, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So um, the idea behind that too is using you were saying functionality. So we have the lanterns right sure. behind Sure, we have the lanterns shot. right here. Um, usually, obviously, they're used for candles and everything like that, mm -hmm. but we're going to use it as kind of the gift holder. The gift holder, right. So Instead everything. of a basket that, you know, they're going to, what are they going to do with the basket they down? We're mm -hmm. going to put a lantern there because chances are they're, they're going to entertain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I'm going to pick out some of the gifts that I want for my okay. present um, and then maybe, you know, sneak a little for myself, whatever. I found um, okay. a, there's a wine purse back there, guys. So, I mean, <laughs> even if not shopping for a wedding, you can shop a little for yourself, too. That's right. Um, so we're going to pick out our gifts here and coming up, we're going to show you how to go ahead and stack that into the uh, that gift basket or our lantern basket and then Joy and I we're gonna race at who can wrap it faster. Very cool. <laughs> well the the if Adam's back there can take Apple TV, this is the what she saw. It says love the wine you're with and she says yeah. this is what I want. She tweets this out to us and says this is what I want as a wedding gift. I tweeted back and said, um husband First husband. Just yeah. buy the thing yourself, Kristen. There you go. Yeah. Because then you can be in love with the wine bottle. And Very that's cool. Not at all sad. She's helping you pick out the perfect gift for the wedding season. What's going on Kristen? Good morning. So all we're even showing you ways to pick out that gift, like you said, Brooke, and it's all about personalizing it. So you have to do your homework. What is the bride and groom like? What's their favorite color? You know, and, and all that great stuff. So I went ahead and picked out the gift for my uh, wedding that I have to be coming. I'm going to be going to soon. Not my wedding, sadly, but uh, <laughs> just kidding. And now we're going to show you a really creative way to kind of put it together. It's all about presentation. It's right? all about presentation. You want your gift to be the prettiest one out there that you're going to give to those people. And it sounds like your couple is fun. Mm -hmm. So you've picked out a great wine, which we don't sell wine here, but you can bring in different items and we can put it into the basket, rather it be towels or wine or whatever. And then your lantern is going to just hold as the base. Got some great chocolates. I've got functional items, so you don't have to worry about maybe that um, not fitting into their style, but mm -hmm. keeping things a little bit more fun. Candle in here after we're done. These are coasters that hold napkins. So We've also got, you picked there. out some great stuff. And then we're going to just set all these items in here so it makes a great presentation. And we were talking a little bit about putting a lantern instead of a basket. Right. It's, it's making everything functional. It's making everything functional. And then, you know, they're fun people. They're going to entertain. They've got the candlelight. They can sh put it out there on their deck. They can take the glass out, put a beautiful floral in it. Lots of different mm -hmm. options they can do. Instead of just having that basket, you're going to throw on the floor. It's going to collect right. dust. So then you're just going to wrap it up real pretty. We've got a great base on it. So you can just lift it up and take it right to your um, event. All right, well, we're going to finish wrapping up our gifts here, and we'll tweet out the finished product, and we'll show when we come back to us a little bit later in the show. And we're also coming up, I'm going to take Joy on and see who can wrap a gift faster. Uh, my gift to you, Kristen, is don't challenge her, because I'm afraid you're not going to win. <laughs> I'm going to be on Kristen's side. All right, there we go. Yeah. Well, good morning. I'm going to be showing you ways to get really creative when it comes to getting a, a gift for the bride and groom. First, we told them it's all about homework. You need to do your homework about the bride and groom. Find out what they like. Then you can get a little bit creative with how you present it to them. So you can, uh, what we did here is that we use a lantern and we said it was functional. Right. And, functional gift. Um, and all, everything's inside. And this is what our finished product looks like. It is so cute. I love it. Um, and what are some other really quick tips you want to get some, give someone uh, while they're looking for these gifts? Well, one thing you want to think about is also when you're giving your gift, is it's all about presentation. So make sure your gift is the prettiest on the gift table. So. Now, uh, Time for the big wrap up. I'm challenging <laughs> owner here, Joy, to a this wrap up. This isn't usually a timed event. So, you know, I don't know how well these are going to look for presentation. Okay. But. All right. So, ready? But, wait, you're cheating. I know, I'm sorry. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, go.
Now don't beat me because this is what I do for a living, oh, you know. Oh, sticking out. Oh, and it's ribbon's so pretty, but it's not going fast enough. <laughs> Jumping, it's tough to work with. I know, it is tough, but it's pretty when it's done. Wait, I think I'm done, I think I'm done, I think I'm done. Oh. Wait, but I think yours looks prettier. Mm. Who do you think the real winner is, guys? Go ahead and tweet me out at Kristen Aguirre or find me on Facebook, Chad and Brooke. <laughs> Who do you think won this event? That's right, and all morning we've been showing you the perfect gift to get the bride and groom. And so people who are just turning in, what are some last minute tips that they need? Last minute tips are do your homework, find out what the gifts, um, what types of gifts or what they, you know, what type of things that they like to use in their home and then um, make a great presentation mm. so uh, don't wait to the last minute however if you do wait to the last minute we can fix you up with that when you leave our shop everything's going to be wrapped up and ready to go for a great presentation and, and a gift that they're going to remember for lots and lots of years every time they look at it yeah why is it so important to kind of add your special touches instead of just kind of going to a department store well, it, it just makes great memories, and, and that's what weddings are all about, is making great memories with that couple. So just pick out that personalized gift, and then just make it something that's uniquely from you to that to that couple. And uh, it's great if you can do something functional, so then every time they use that piece, rather it's a clock or whatever it would be in their home, that uh, they're just going to remember you buy that. Well, for so. more tips on all of these functional tips for creating a, group, a memorable present, make sure you check out our website at connecttristates.com, and all this will also be in our YouTube page. Now we'll hear more from the Great River Harmonizers and for the uh, uh, Tom Sawyer days coming up after the break. You're watching KHQ. Well, for more tips on making a personalized wedding gift, make sure you check out our website at connecttristates.com and find us on YouTube. And don't forget, all week is wedding week on KHQ this morning. Tomorrow, we're going to show guests on how to wear the perfect outfit to any type of wedding.